said I'm not afraid anymore. Do you hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. So in this video I will cover a lot of tips and tricks that was useful to me when I passed my own OCP and also some additional tips and tricks that I have learned since then. The first thing is to not be intimidated by OCP because some people are. Trust me, it's very easily solved by simply having a game plan which I'll give you and also doing the work so that slowly but surely you see that you're becoming more and more competent and stuff that seemed very intimidating to you at first, now you're like, oh. I know how to do that, you know, because you have notes that you can simply follow and you've done it before, so it's easy to do it again. I suggest that you follow the Netzak Focus and Lane Kusanagi lists. They are quite known, but in my opinion, they are known for a reason. You should distribute your efforts across the different areas. What I mean by that is do CTFs that are Linux, do CTFs that are Windows, right? Make sure that you're comfortable with both. I would focus a bit more on Linux and Windows and the same thing with the Active Directory, right? I would also suggest that you don't forget about a topic like pivoting because OCP have said that that can definitely come on the exam. Just use a tool like Chisel or Ligolo and that will easily be covered. Just make sure that you get comfortable with those tools and find machines where you can do it. Another thing that is extremely useful is to have actual solid notes, right? If there is one thing that a lot of people that was taking the OCP will tell you, is the fact that having an actual clear methodology and having notes that you can constantly go back to to copy paste commands if you forgot something, or maybe there's an exploit for a specific service that just worked really well that you would like to reuse in the future, you just have it noted down and you can easily search and find it, or you don't remember how to do a specific priv but then boom your notes will just tell you, right? Because you've taken good notes. That's how I use my own notes and it's an absolute game changer. So I highly recommend that you do that. Another thing that I also recommend you do is that as you're just completing machines, just take notes on how you exploited it. You can either put this in the same notebook as all of your structured like notes, as in like how to, uh, for instance, perform a path traversal attack like LFI, right? Or how to do like specific fuzzing tools or how to attack unquoted service path for Windows privilege escalation, whatever, right? It's like you just search it up and you find it and then you do it because you have it in the notes. It's crucial that you do that. But what I mean with just noting real quick when you're actually completing machines, again, you can structure it how you want. You can either put it in the same notes or a different notebook altogether, but you don't need to make it as structured, right? It's just nice to have things logged so that if you come across a similar service in the future, you find that exact service then you know exactly how you exploited it, right? It kind of like removes a lot of things which you have to memorize and I found that to be incredibly useful for myself. Um, and again, the, these notes in my opinion don't have to be pretty as long as you just think ahead and write down the stuff that you know that you will be searching for in the future and then boom, you find it and you repeat it and you don't have to memorize anything because you simply just repeat the thing. It's absolutely awesome. So I would also advise that. Now, another thing that I thought was very useful is that uh, when I was taking my OCP, I found a person called uh, Muhammad, and Muhammad and me were, we were just keeping each other accountable, right? We served each other very well in that sense, because whenever I would get a bit demotivated or lazy or just something was like annoying, right? There was like a technical issue or whatever it was, then I know that Muhammad would constantly be learning and the other way around. Or maybe there was a concept that I thought was difficult to understand, but he understood it well. And then there was topic that he uh, thought was difficult to comprehend and I helped him out. I remember there were like specific things with like pivoting that he struggled with and I helped him out, etc. If you can, then I would suggest that as well. Um, but it's definitely 100% doable alone, absolutely. Majority of the time I didn't really need, but it was just, it was more just a little bit extra motivating than anything. Now, if you're more new to OCP, I would suggest that you look at walkthroughs after you get stuck for, let's say, anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes, right? Or maybe even shorter, maybe five to anywhere between 5 and 20 minutes, depending on how fast you want to move. But then don't look at the walkthrough the entire, the entire machine. Let's say you're stuck at getting initial foothold. Then I would only look at that and then try to privest. And then if you get stuck again for anywhere between 5 to 20 minutes, then I would look at the walkthrough again. And then again, copy what they do, learn from it. I should try to understand it and then take notes and then 
continued. That's very, very, very important because we want to prioritize speed because there's endless amount of CTFs out there. And it's also absolutely fine to redo CTFs at some point. Now, another thing that's so useful about this, looking at how other people sold machines, it's incredibly useful because you get to see their tools. You get to see how they think, especially if it's on YouTube, seeing the tools they use, seeing how the heck you go through a machine, seeing their general methodology. It, it's, it's just really, really useful. It will just give you alternate tools to do the same thing, or somebody's had a way more simple way to do something, you know, to go. I didn't know I could do it that way. So you just note it down and then you move on. Or sometimes people did more enumeration than you did. And you thought the yeah, idea covered all of it, right? So I would highly suggest that even if you've completed a machine, just every now and then, just look at two different videos, skim through it, that you see if they use any different tools for their Knichthemia. And then it's a very useful way to know. We have a playlist hack YouTube that covers a lot of things like which tools are banned on the OCP exam and like how should you guys do report writing, etc. when it comes to your OCP exam. And I'm just covering different topics as well, like pivoting and I have to direct you, etc. So if I was redoing all of that, I would generally use my own resources because it is incredibly useful to have someone who's actually done the OCP themselves just tell you exactly what they think. And the same thing with that, we have a two hour free course as well that you can check out, incredibly useful. It's here on YouTube, I'll link it down below as well. If you're putting in the words you're doing the list that I recommended and you're still stuck, then you can feel free to join our community because we have the OSP course there, the complete one, which is about five times as long as the two hour free one on YouTube. So <laughs> you will absolutely learn a ton of useful things there. And you can also get to ask me personal questions on the exclusive Discord as well. So if there's anything that you're paranoid about or if you just need motivation or your arms are about a specific tool, if it's allowed on uh, also key, or if just a concept that you struggle to understand, like maybe you struggle to use a tool or a specific crevice technique or whatever it is, right? I'm happy to help. So just wanted to let you know that as though. Well. So you really have no excuse to just put in the work. You have nothing to be confused about because everything that you need to do is laid out in front of you. All that remains is that you keep working and you keep putting in the effort and I promise you, getting that OCP is incredible and it will be a massively useful to not only your competence and your skills, but also your career. So I wish you the absolute best of luck on your OCP journey. Thank you so much for watching.